Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very important day. This is the start of the second ever Battle of Los Angeles here in Wrestling Up 3D. And we start off with a very exciting matchup here. The first match of the first round of the tournament. We have out here first Max Seidel. Definitely one of the most credited, most star studied cruiserweight wrestlers on the planet, junior heavyweight, whatever you want to call it. He is definitely one of the most recognized high flyers in the game. He has been to almost every single promotion you can possibly think of, and he's won titles in all of them. So it's going to be very interesting to see this matchup because his opponent is almost certainly a legend in his own right in Japan, Yoshihiro Tenzan, a former IWGP heavyweight champion, arguably one of the most prestigious belts in the wrestling world. He has won that belt and he's beaten some of the greatest talent ever produced out of not just Japan but possibly in all of wrestling to do so. Tenzan, definitely a legend in this business. This is going to be a very interesting class of styles. Oh, there we go. So now kicks and strikes. And Tenzan with the sidewalk slam to start off. And then Seidel definitely got the win knocked out from that one. Left up. And there's the Russian leg suit. Tenzan so far is doing very well, but Seidel seemingly blocking out the pain, getting up immediately. Oh, Tenzan, I think he went for a tombstone pile driver. Seidel was able to escape. And he, oh, tried to hit the knee. Oh, there's the hip toss instead. Quick cover by Tenzan. No, not a two count, only a one count. Seidel managed to quickly get out of that. Both men now exchanging strikes here. Massive chop, and now both go down. Simultaneous strike, sending both to the floor. Oh, speed of going to the floor. Matt Seidel drop kick off the top rope. He was probably going for something, possibly a Seidel press. Tenzan looks like he was going to go for the top rope. He decided against it. Seidel bringing. Tenzan back into the ring, only for Tenzan to leave once again. Definitely not on the apron, but Tenzan's trying to trying to do, trying to do something here. He's trying to confuse Matt Seidel. Looks like oh god, he's got oh god, neck breaker on the apron. That's the hardest part of the ring, and there's a standing moonsault there as well. Just absolutely trying to take advantage of the environment. Is Matt Seidel? He's very good at that. Tenzan gets knocked off the rope. Sight. Oh, I thought he was going for a side press to the outside. The side against it. More strikes. And now, oh, God! Frankensteiner, there's no padding on the outside of the ring. It's only concrete here. So Tenzan had to feel all that on the back of his head. Matt Seidel was going after the legs, but he started noticing the count. And speaking of the count, Tenzan also got counted out. And this match would have been a disappointing end to this one for sure. Especially in the early going. Oh, both men go to the outside with Tenzan. He's still he's trying to confuse Matt Seidel here. Oh, and it may have just worked. It may have just worked. Oh no! Oh god! Sit out power bomb on the apron. Again, hardest part of the ring. A little bit of payback from that neck breaker from earlier. Now he's going to the top. No way. He's gonna do a dive. Oh, oh, Seidel caught him. No! Tenzan counters! Oh my god. I don't even know what I just saw there. Seidel caught him in midair. But then Tenzan counter tried to hit a slam, but Seidel was able to get out of there. Now Seidel, oh, tosses Tenzan into the barricade again. That's all steel. There's nothing comfortable in this entire area. The ring may as well just be the most comfortable area in this entire arena at this point. You don't want to be anywhere but outside that ring. And now there's a dragon sleeper by Tenzan. And you got to think with... This submission special. Oh no. Well, Matt Seidel, he doesn't care. He just turns this into a dragon sleeper of his own and more grounded. Doesn't have the leverage, but he's still trying. Oh, Tenzin countered, but Seidel countered back, but he's forced to let go. Too much for him. Uh oh, no. And now Tenzin. Another sit out power bomb. The second one of the match, this time in the ring. But oh my god, Seidel just kips up. But. Oh, Tenzan doesn't care, and there's a monkey flip instead. Referee kind of got hit there. He seems to be fine. Oh, but there's the drop toe hold by Seidel. Both men back and forth so far, but they both hit some very big moves. But both on the apron as well. Oh, it's just Tenzan. Oh, he tried to hit something. Oh, he goes behind. Tosses Seidel into the rope. Referee trying to avoid. Oh, there's the spinning heel kick by 
Matt Seidel absolutely clocking Hir Hiroshi Tenzan in the skull. I mean, Yoshihiro Tenzan, excuse me, crosses Tenzan right onto the... Oh, God! He went for the... What the hell just happened there? He hit him with the another spinning heel kick. Then Tenzan got a roll-up, or Matt Seidel got a roll-up. That was insane. And there's an elevated knee strike there by Seidel on the outside of the ring. Tenzan seems to be getting up immediately. He gets back into the ring. Both men seem to want to keep it inside the ring. Oh, there's another drop toe hold. Perfect position for a Seidel press, possibly, but this looks like he's going to go for it. Oh, oh there's an enziguri there by Yoshiro Tenzan. Connects to the back of the head. And there's a power slam as well. Here's the cover, but it's in the row, very clearly in the row. There's a desperation cover by Tenzan. Hoping to at least get lucky with the referee, but Earl Hebner, our senior official, would not have it. Seidel trying to get back from the ring. It's been really, it's been a game. It's been a game here. Oh, there's a drop salt by Tenzan. Tenzan seems to be winning it thus far. He's been able to take advantage every time he gets out of the ring and gets back in, able to confuse Matt Seidel, able to make him a little bit unsure of his surroundings. Oh, this is the punch there. Now Matt Seidel. Oh, here we go, driver by Matt Seidel. Top of Tenzan's head, and he kicks out of nothing. Tenzan just gets out from that. No, no questions asked. And there's another knee strike by Matt Seidel. He is not happy. He is not happy with that result. Matt Seidel now. He's got, he's got Tenzan by the back of his head. He's got his hair. Oh, he's going for an armbar. Very, very unique decision there by Seidel going after the arm. Uh oh, he's trying to fight now. Tenzan tosses him into the ropes. Oh, misses the drop kick. And now Matt Seidel looking to take advantage. Oh, Kappel! Oh, over the over the ropes, out of the ring! Dear Lord! Tenzan's just taking a ton of punishment here, taking a lot of insane moves. Now there's a cross space on the outside of the ring, it seems like. Continuing to attack the arm of Yoshihiro Tenzan. Very deliberate strategy here. Oh, Matt Seidel, he kicks Yoshihiro Tenzan over. Referee trying to make sure that Matt Seidel stays in the ring. And here we go, Tenzan just makes back in the ring. And Matt Seidel wants to keep that way. Messes the moonsault. And Tenzan connects with the leg drop. And continuing to trade strikes. Oh, we go for Gord Buster. Oh, and it connects. Referee seemingly got taken down by that. Took down by that one. And now Matt Seidel able to counter whatever Tenzan was planning there. But he's still, still weakened by that. Gord Buster. Oh, oh, there's another knee strike. And that one absolutely rocked Tenzan. Moonsault standing version. And now from behind. Oh, counter to the headlock takedown. Tenzan, what's he going to do from here? I don't know what more he can really do from here. He's pretty much hit. Said that with almost every move in his arsenal. We're only eight minutes in this match. Now side out. He's got. Tenzan up, oh no, oh there's another sidewalk slam and he just dropped Seidel on the top of his head. It's starting one of the matchup. And now he's continuing to hit him with leg drops three in a row. He's trying to weaken him up, he's trying to weaken him up for something here. Tenzan, oh no, Matt Seidel, he's seeming, oh he takes, he takes control here, gets him up. Oh, there's a suplex, wasn't really much of a brain buster, but he definitely, definitely connected. Danny moves out again, and Tenzin again forced to evacuate from the ring. Seidel going that way. No, wait. What's Seidel doing? Top rope. No. I see. It seemed like he was... seemed like he was tricking... Side. Oh! Shooting Seidel press to the outside of the ring. That was absolutely crazy. Tenzin just gets up and just gets back into the ring. It could not get much closer than that. Oh, there's a back elbow strike by... Oh! Oh, he caught him! Tenzan caught him in the frontal choke! Front, front, front headlock, front face lock choke! That could have easily been it. Tenzan is well known for just catching upon his mouth, knowing those submission moves. And Seidel was almost... Oh! Matt Seidel looked like he was going for a drop hold. Tenzan kept his foot, he was able to stay there. Oh! There's a standing Frankensteiner! Seidel counters with a snapmare! And now... No, he decides to let him go, saying, I, almost saying, I get end this in any play. Oh, there's another sidewalk slam. He, he got too cocky there, too, counter and a kick out. Matt Seidel, I think he let his ego get ahead of him there, S telling Tenzan, I could end this at any point. I'm not going to, 
I'm not gonna pin you now, but I can pin you at any time I want. Oh, Tenzin not happy. Oh, quick roll up by Tenzin. Two count. No! Kick out at two by Matt Seidel. That was nearly it. And Tenzin getting to Matt Seidel. Oh, but there's a roll up of his own. One. No. Kick out at one by Tenzin this time. He is not happy about that whatsoever. Oh, looking for it. I think he was looking for the here we go driver again. He hit that early in the match, but didn't see that many effects on Tenzin. And now Tenzin's got this hammerlock locked in. Going after the arm of Matt Seidel. It's going to definitely weaken much of Seidel's offense. Much of his offense he's known for. Oh, oh he's looking for it. Oh! He tried to hit the here you go driver again. But his arm was too weak. Here's the cover now after crushing him. But it was only a one count. Very smart by Tenzin. Thinking ahead. Knowing that without the arm, Seidel couldn't hit that devastating inverted tombstone pile driver. That, um, that sit out tombstone pile driver. Oh, it's this. It's just connected with strikes and tossing Seidel back in the ring. This is the first match of the first round. Oh, he got him with the cutter. He just caught Tenzo with the cutter. Standing moonsault to follow up. One, two. Oh, my God. He hit down one. And you can see Matt Seidel is frustrated. He is shocked. But for the next breaker, Tenzan pulls him off. Oh, kicks the shin and just knocks him down with that strike. It's really just a matter of what is the move from either of these men's arsenal that's going to put this match away, that's going to end this match. These two have absolutely put each other through hell and back. And now Matt Seidel, oh, looked like he was going to go for another high up, high aerial offense there. Oh, he caught him another hammerlock. Another hammerlock by Tenzan. He caught him there. Seidel is so infuriating close to the ropes. Oh, Seidel press. No, he caught, tried to catch him with a tough, the second rope spinning heel kick. No, what Tanzan is letting him get to the second rope here. Saying, "Oh, that was that was not smart by Tanzan." Basically saying, "I could end this match anytime I want as well." And he just got the same result as Seidel. He just gets caught in the face with a kick. Now a strike takes down Tanzan, but Tanzan rolls through another power slam. That will do it. Tenzan, cover, no, kick out just in the nick of time by Matt Seidel. He's going for the knee strike here. He's setting up for another drop toe hold by Matt Seidel. Another, <laughs> another standing moonsault on the leg. And now he's going for a, a knee bar, a, a, a spinning toe hold there. Definitely trying to weaken up the legs here of Tenzan. It's definitely going to weaken the offense of Yoshihiro Tenzan. But Tenzan is able to escape. It's got to be frustrating for Matt Seidel. Not even submissions are working at this point. He's got to figure out something. He's got to figure out something if he wants to win here. Get into the second round of this tournament, this very prestigious tournament, and have the chance possibly to face Zack Sabre Jr. Yoshio Tenzan caught the knee strike. Seidel stops himself from running the ropes. Oh, and he gets just a devastating kick right into the lungs. That's going to knock the wind right out of you. But Matt Seidel, he still seems to be sort of into it. And there's another spinning heel kick off the second rope. And that one definitely caught Tenzan, who's now been caught into an ankle lock. Continuing to go after the leg here of Tenzan. going to try and remove the factor of, well, being able to walk, being able to do any significant offense. Oh, quick roll up there by Seidel. Oh, counter by Tenzan. You put his put his full body weight right on the shoulders of Matt Seidel, but Seidel was somehow able to escape. Now another catapult, nowhere near the ropes this time, but again, just equally hurting. Seidel, it looks like he may be going for the Seidel press. He wasn't able to, though. He went to a different corner. Oh, went for the German suplex. Oh, another back elbow strike. Oh, but Tenzin rolls out of, out of the way. And another Seidel press to the outside of the ring. Oh, my God. He just refuses to hit anything else but that at this point. Test to strike the outside of the ring. And Tenzin gets back into the ring. But he rolls back in. He's going to try and force a count out. No! But he ro rolled out of the way of Seidel. He wasn't able to stop him. Oh, God! I believe that was the Here You Go driver. That may have been a Michinoku driver, but whatever it was. Tenzin was just dropped on the top of his head on the outside. No way, there's going to be a count out. Oh, my God, it is! Matt Seidel wins the first match of this tournament by count out. That has to be disappointing, especially for Yoshio Tenzin. 
and Seidel goes to the